Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome back to RimWorld. Starting here because there have been several comments that have come in that, that uh, deal with what we're looking at right here. For one, I think it was Natalia and Catherine both wrote in to remind me that I didn't need to build a wall here. You can build a roof by hitting zone and build roof area. You can go out as far as, I think it's five, without any support, just attached to the side of something. To me, that feels weird. You know, I want to post out there. What I was going to do was come back last time when we were working on uh, Klaus and take all this out and leave just this post right here and maybe another one right there, just a little bit of support and then it, I could have had this all wide open. Visitors, see, when I'm talking and explaining something, so much is going on in this game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of times I would also... Well, in Alpha 13, before you had the ability to designate where you wanted a roof, I would build a structure you know, within that 10 by 10, 11 by 11 range and have them lay out all of the, the material without building it. And then I would stop them, freeze the game, delete everything but the four corners, and they would... Is that? No, I'll take that back. They'd have to build the whole thing. It would roof over, and then I'd... I don't know, I don't know how, how it works, but but um, basically we could eliminate all but that corner and this structure was set up here just fine and they would have easy access in and out. But that's fine. We'll, we'll work with this. Also, well, okay, let's, let's play with that a little bit. We could then take this roof and do something like this so that they can be out of the weather while they're under those or eating from the, those uh, table and chairs right there. So we could do this to make kind of an eaves or a lean-to out from around it. I'm not going to go out as far as five. I think that looks funny. I think it does, it, it's, it's like playing Minecraft, taking the trunk out and having the tree float up there. It's just, it's just not right. But um, what I could do, though, is have them deconstruct there, there, and there. They'll take all these out, and then we could take the stockpile click on it and you get it again then take it out to oh something oops something like this and then leave that corner so they can clip through and we'll go to something like this that'll all be under roof now and it'll extend our our, uh, our stockpile a little bit actually that one formed a new one let's delete that one this one is part of that one uh, can I go through the door I think I can stockpile if I take it through the door first, there we go. Then I can do something like this. That'll all be the, the same stockpile, which is good because at least I'm pretty sure that that is all connected. I think it is. Click o click away, then click in. There you go. Which is good because another thing that came up in the comments, we only need in here what the sun or what the weather will ruin. And it's not going to ruin steel. It's not going to ruin uh, silver. It's not going to ruin gold and a few other things that we're going to get later. So let's save some room in here, make some space so more stuff can go in, which is probably why, well, the wood that's out here hasn't been brought in because there's nowhere to put it. So now there is because we've got the space under the eaves, but let's go ahead and set up another stockpile. Still nearby. You know, we're gonna be using a lot of that down in here. Let's do something like that. Yeah, and we'll try to keep them from from having to walk around something. Let's give them a, their, their diagonal run right here. They're going to actually they're around this corner and go right through here. Let's go out one more. So something like that. Okay, and then even there. Okay, you are going to be only... Let's see, we're going to clear all and... Probably no reason to, to increase the priority of it at this point because it's the only place that will take it right now. So it'll be normal. But we want raw resources in here. And we want the gold, jade, plasteel, silver, steel, uranium. So all of that and blocks. Stone blocks can go in there too. So I want all of that taken out of here. So this one's going to be all of this but these guys right through here. Plant matter, leave that in there. And there's already no animals in here, no animal corpses. So we still gotta figure out where all that's gonna go. But 
They should then come out here, take all the stuff out of here that wasn't necessary, leave a lot more room in there now, and we'll be able to, to get that put away. Um, otherwise, while we're... now eh, we can go ahead and turn you guys back on again on slow speed. While we're here... Oh, sorry, we have visitors coming. And that went away. Arr, talk too long. Visitors, okay. Well, first of all, mental... Minor break risk. That popped up last time when I was talking. I didn't get a chance to address it. So, Shantigo... Now, that, this has to do with his neurotic uh, trait, which increases his mental break threshold by 8. So, his needs, he's kind of floating in here. So, we've passed through the first mark. That's his, his minor break risk. And another meal would take care of that. Is he carrying a meal right now, gear? He is. We could say, come in, you know, just... just just grab this thing and eat it and it'll take care of the food but it would be nice to not get the negative three for not eating at a table so let's have him come over here and just consume this one he'll grab it he'll sit down and eat it and that'll take care of a lot of a lot of issues in here so there's that visitors we've got visitors roaming in and my warning went away okay we've got binga coming in question mark which means that binga can trade right how combat gear? Yes, yeah, carrying all this stuff to trade. All right, we're going to get a chance to, to see how this works. Now, Binga is from the Rana of the River tribe. Faction, Rana of the River likes us to an extent. And we can go up to, I'm guessing it's plus 100 or minus 100. So they're they're tolerating us. They're, they're willing to, to deal with us. So... Just looking at some of these names. The Saber of the Donkeys. The Saws. <laughs> anyway, Bringa is going to come down over here and we'll wait till she gets closer. She's going to have to brave. I wonder what path she's going to take. That'd be curious to find out. The natural path would be right there to drop into this area. Let's see if the game is smart enough not to uh, sacrifice her before we even get there. If not, then we're going to have to go clean those out just so we can keep our... our potential visitors alive hmm okay what was I getting into over here I was gonna pop some more mining in just to make sure they've got lots to do while I'm still talking about everything yeah I've got another run right there then that's pretty much done all right so we need to get individual bedrooms going we need to I see we got a lot of folks no Handy's building the roofs Shantigo's eating so we don't have a lot of haulers going on. Oh, she's going to tear all this apart now. Did she already get this torn apart? She did, and, and they hauled it out. Great. we got the beds to move in here. And that's a turkey, right? Yeah, a turkey. So, um, what time is it? It is 7 p.m. Let's pause so I can get this done before they need to go to bed. This is a good, shoddy, superior, normal, and poor. So this one can uninstall... And shoddy can uninstall. This one, good, poor, normal, poor, shoddy, and normal. So we had two normals. Is good better than normal? I wish I had... What is here that gives me that list? There's a... You could craft something and choose a quality, right? Is that, is that a thing? Um, let's build... I don't remember if that's a thing or if that is a mod. If I were to build a shelf, is there any way... There really isn't any way to choose a quality. That must be a mod that I saw. Okay. I don't like playing with mods or watching mods so much, because then I forget what's what's vanilla, what's really part of the game and what isn't. Uh, these have to go away soon, so I can move these into their place. So let's just grab somebody to do that. Who needs to be diverted? Um, Shantigo was digging... Uh, he does... He likes to mine. We'll let him mine. Tomislav. You're hauling by profession at the moment. So you head over here and and uh, drop that off. And then follow me. And let's play a little bit here. Hold down this shift. Let's have you uninstall and then uninstall. But I can't have... I don't think I can have you... Uh, install this one because yeah I can't put the blueprint down so we'll just do these two for now 
and I'm not going to speed it up. There's there's plenty of things to do at this point. Just looking at the animals right now. I did go through before we started and find all of the heel root plants that were ready to harvest. So there, there are herbal medicine. To, if if we get any diseases that uh, need continual treatments for a while, it's best to use those instead of the more expensive medicine that's going to run out and kind of wait for a, a trader to come by that has something to to sell us. All right, I'm gonna take this apart. Take this apart. All right, and we're going to take them away. All right, that's nice. All I really need is just to get them out of there. So if you can come and haul this one away too, then we can set these in. All right, just leave that one right there. This guy's normal? Yeah. You are going to reinstall right there. A couple of E's in that one. You are gonna reinstall right there. And Tomislav is going to do both of them. Prioritize that one, and then prioritize that one. That didn't work. And then it didn't give me the lines in between. That's interesting. Okay, there's the line. Just had to, it had a certain order to do it. Okay, so that's taken care of. Um, so we've got two people without beds right now. You can choose who's going to use those beds or they will grab the first bed that's near them when they get to that point. Let's uninstall all the rest of these. Did I do that one wrong? Cancel. There. I wasn't sure if I hit deconstruct or not. And I was told that the... Um, boy, which one was it now? Was it Bulk Goods Trader? There's a trader coming that will take the beds. So we tried that in Alpha 13, couldn't make it work, but it was a later Alpha that, that brought that in. But during that um, series, because I was still playing that one when we were in 15 and 16, uh, I was getting comments, you know, you can sell those beds. But uh, they were forgetting what alpha I was still playing in. Anyway, we have exposed a little bit more over here. Let's queue these guys up. We're going to use a lot of steel soon, so it is good to, to have them do this. We must be at bedtime. Visitor. Oh, that was still there. I thought it was in one of these. I missed that completely. A scavenger from the Rana of the River is visiting the colony. She is named Orange Bringa Bringa. Hmm. She seems to have a few items to trade. Uh, let's jump to. Where is she at now? She's here. Pause. Now, Klaus is our trader. He hasn't gone to bed yet. It's great to get them before they go to bed because they get irritated if you disturb them. If you, they get to bed and you wake them up, they get that disturbed sleep thing. Well, let's have him head over here and trade with her, just so we can see this soon. Then I can sit, you know, get myself uh, over there putting in power and getting ready for what they're going to build tomorrow. But Klaus is going to come on over here and, and talk to her. Otherwise, I want to do some hunting. I'm just looking at these guys thinking, oh, I want to. Now, these guys explode. You don't want to hunt them unless it's raining out. Um, I... And he'll start... Oh, we did pause out there. The Z isn't moving. Okay. Either by deliberate genetic weaponization or as an unusual defense mechanism, these rodent-like creatures create a powerful fire-starting explosion when killed. And then you find a boom of lobe, which we had some up here, right? Pause, because they're about to make contact down there. These are boom rats. We had some boom of lobes here somewhere. When, you, when they die, they really go boom. They're like a little... Ex a little bomb going off, which is why I like to um, tame them and have a herd of them available so that when we get pause, because they're going to pause my game, when we get these bugs, there are no bugs in there. If you were to seal off this, seal off that, seal off this, send a boomalope in, they'll kill it, it'll go boom, light things on fire, it'll build up heat in here, and eventually cook them out. So I use them as bug defense. Uh, kind of enemy defense too, but it's, that's not quite as uh, functional. Anyway, we're about to see this happen. <clears throat> I'll show you how trading works. Well, I'll show you how trading used to work. We'll see how it actually works now. So, new arrivals, Bringa. So this is us. Because we haven't been named yet, that's probably going to happen this episode. I'm thinking so. Um, Bringa has brought these items right here. She has 51 pemmican that she's willing to sell. 
Which is odd. When you travel, you need something like pemmican to eat. And if we buy all of her 51 pemmican, what's she going to eat on the way home? I don't know. Do we need pemmican? We've got 40 survival meals, and we're about to start uh, uh, hunting and cooking and whatnot. So we really don't need it. So we'll save our 1,000 silver that we came with. Um, herbal medicines. Hmm. She's only got four. The prices are white. When they're green, they're a great price. When they're red, they're a, they're a bad price. Either they're too expensive to buy or they're not going to pay us enough to make it worth it. These are neutral prices. And we do have a lot of herbal medicines on the map, so there's no point in paying for it yet. She also has a steel club to sell, which we don't need. She has a great bow to sell, which we don't need. Though, don't undermine, you know, don't, don't put down these, these uh, great bows. They've got a pretty powerful, um, what do we have here? Damage is down here. They'll do 18 damage. Seems like the pistol does something similar to that. There's a pistol right a revolver. Revolver? That is, is that new? Well, it didn't look like that in the previous one. That only does 11 damage. So these great bows actually pack quite a wallop. In fact, when they come at you, a whole bunch of tribesmen come and attack you, you gotta watch out for those. They'll take you down. Sniper rifle to compare is around 40 damage okay so more than twice a great bow but yeah these great bows are pretty powerful things but we we we're armed pretty well now we don't really need it a pig skin t-shirt normal for 171 wow we'll make our own thank you but uh, if it was cheaper i was going to say it's quite possible that the uh, the first capture that that comes in the first one that attacks us if we don't manage to kill him him or her they quite often don't come in fully dressed, so it'd be nice to have an extra shirt and pants laying around, but not for that price. All right, so can, we can sell them, though, any of these. She is willing <clears throat> to buy anything that's lit up. So that means our sniper rifle, our revolver, our, our steel longsword, that's hard to say, and our herbal medicine, which we just dug up out of the ground for five, which is worth more than five to us because you know if we all come down with muscle parasites or something like that we're gonna need all this we can get so not much we can do here to trade so I'll tell you what we'll buy we'll buy one pemmican just to show the process if i'm correct i can click here and drag nope doesn't work that way anymore um let's pop one in there now if i click and drag no they seem to have taken that out i used to be able to click there and pull off to the side and and it will start counting up or down okay so you can type in there and you can of course go take all of it or take just part of it I wonder if you can shift and move around nope that didn't work so that took all of it by, by holding the shift interesting if i hit uh, control there control goes by tens okay shift takes all of it I see. Okay. So let's take all of it back and then just grab one. So it's going to cost us two silver. The arrow is going this way. So two of our silver is going that way to her. One of these is going that way to us. It gives you a sense of how the trading works there. Anyway, we'll, we'll take the one. We'll pause. I wish I didn't have to. It still bugs me that Klaus, who just did the trading, doesn't automatically grab whatever he traded and take it back with him. But we'll go ahead and... Yeah. For a treat, yeah, go ahead and consume it. Though you're gonna get the negative, uh, you're gonna get the negative uh, number there. Drop that, thank you. You're gonna say you ate without a table. So let's uh, just put this away. And that's actually all the way over there, isn't it? Yeah, and you're gonna miss out on your sleep. We'll leave it right there and pick it up in the morning. All right, go on, go to bed. <laughs> So he didn't claim the bed inside. He claimed the bed outside. He's going to get the uh, slept out in, uh, slept outside as well as slept cold as well as everything else. I'm going to uh, assign this one to Shantigo. <laughs> uh, Thomas Law figured it out though. Okay. <laughs> All right, they're settled. Now we need to move in over here. Digging takes a long time. We've been 
three episodes tackling this and this. I mean, they're eventually going to do it, but it's going to take a while to to build something inside here that's uh, that's comfortable with wooden walls or stone walls or something like that, smooth floor or wooden floors. So let's build something outside for now just to get by while we're digging a base into this thing, something that can, uh, that can protect us a little bit. Um, I like to build something that has an internal hallway so I can heat or cool that hallway and put vents, right? Uh, power. No. Temperature. Where are you? Right there. Vents. Good. Vents started out as a mod. Yeah, uh, boy. Alpha 12? 11, 12? Somewhere in there it was only a mod. 13, I think it became real. And so, I've still got it in my mind, you know, was that vanilla or was that a mod? That's when I stopped using mods in RimWorld, RimWorld and just stuck to the vanilla game after that. But um, that was long before uh, there was even a Noble Rambler when I was doing, spending hundreds of hours in RimWorld building colony after colony. But if I can get an internal hallway, then I can heat or cool it and then vent into each of the rooms and then it will, though not as efficiently, it will eventually seep in and cool or heat everybody in those rooms um well it's been a while i'm trying to remember what size was enough to make them comfortable there's a point at which it says room is too small and they get a negative every day but let's grab structure and wall and think about this let's build a structure just out in here for now um i'd say we can go right up against the garden do i want one space in between now nah, this is a temporary structure all right so i want to go Let's give them six by six inside. So sevens by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So over like so. Now is that actually? Let's grab a floor. Let's grab a stock, a zone. You are a six by six. All right. So if you're there, let's do another one. Structure. Now let me show you something here. Let me pause a second. There is orders planning. You can grab planning and plan this out and figure it out and get it just the way that you want it. Go through and erase any mistakes and erase for a you know a door and a door and, and plan the whole thing out this way. And it works pretty well. That's a lot of what, what you want to do in here. Figure out where all of your hallways are going to be and main hallways like this, another little hall and another room over here and because if you do that with mining instead and you get to an edge and you forget that you touch that and you're over here planning over here, they're already over here chipping away at it, whether you wanted to actually put that hole there or not. So the planning tool works really well for, for some of this. But right now I know they're sleeping. That's why I can get away with this and not worry about them coming over. Because Handy you know, constructs so fast, she'll have this wall up while I'm still over here trying to figure out what am I going to do with, with, with the way the bedroom slams into this mountain over here. So let's go ahead, let's see, let's cancel these guys and put structure. We don't have any blocks at the moment. So seven out, down, and this way. Internal hallway. So I like mine too wide. How do I deal with that? Let's take you out one more and cancel you and you let's do something like that now i can't do that and get into there okay so you're gonna have to be something like this over down down okay something like that so it'll be kind of an odd shaped bedroom over here another one here-ish Something like that. That what is that size in there? Zone. We don't have a lot of room, so I don't want to splurge if I don't have to. Yeah, I thought that was one too many. Let's go ahead, structure, wall, wall, and do that. Cancel you guys. There's well, cancel all of them. There's two, three, four bedrooms. Next one, probably easiest over here. Probably be nice to it would be nice. Let's do this instead. Bring you out over here. Let's get a pathway that cuts through it all the way so that they're not doing any unnecessary walking around. So there, and all right, so we've got one more bedroom. Let's do seven that way, that way, and there. And 
could even do something just like that. So door into here, door into here, door, 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 and then these two over here. And then uh, temperature, let's vent, uh, rotate you around, let's see, E. So it goes through from this point to that point, like so. And there, spin you around like that, and we can't vent into this one. Okay, so let's modify that a little bit. Your vent, you're a door. And that makes the wall, let's see here, structure, wall. So vent, door, wall, like that. And then door, door, vent, there, and there. Accepted it? Yeah, okay. Which means we need air conditioning heading into this place. So blue is cold, red is hot. So put the blue inside and heat's gonna blow out, cold's gonna blow in. So that will give us cooling and we'll probably eventually need another one in here. That's a lot of space. It does, the game does keep track of how much capacity these guys have and then eventually if you have just one in a very big area you're only going to cool it down a few degrees before the uh, temperature outside is overwhelming it and bringing it right back up again. And if we were to build this with double wooden walls we would get an insulative factor in there if we were to do something like that. Oops, I didn't just wipe out my garden, did I? I probably just did, just wanting to show it. But we're not going to, uh, to do all that. Let's put these back in. There, you will bring you back to where you were. You bring you back to where you were. Okay. So, there's five quick bedrooms. Um, let's see. We want to take all the plants out of here obviously and all of the the rocks out of there so let's orders haul out everything that's in there what was that visitors are leaving that's kind of why i wanted klaus to to uh, talk to her before um they went to bed also we've got the ability here to see that bringa has these characteristics has a chemical fascination is a brawler uh, what her story is as a scavenger. So, spend her childhood escape. There's no adult here. How old is she? She's 17. Maybe 18 as adult in this game. So she's still in her childhood background. Escaping grunt work to go digging through wrecks and ruins for treasure. Her natural curiosity got her into a lot of trouble, but it also yielded many interesting finds. So mining plus three, intellectual plus three. So these are her skills. If we wanted to, we could capture her. Um, out of curiosity, Klaus, can I right click on you? Trade with. Hmm. How would we do that? Would we just start shooting at? She becomes an enemy and then we take her down and then capture her. Anyway, we have the ability to, to kind of turn the tables and decide that we're going to capture her, throw her in prison, and eventually convert her over to, to ours. That's one way to kind of force people into your colony. It will make, who is she with? She's with the Rana of the River. So suddenly we would have an enemy right here to add to all of these other enemies, and suddenly, you know, four out of five tribes and, and you know, groups on the, on the planet hate us and want to kill us. That's probably not the best thing to do sitting here with no defenses and uh, <laughs> no way to defend ourselves. In fact, we are kind of defenseless right now. Let's think about that as well. Um, we need to get back to our building, our little structure there. Security, sandbags. Six steel will be turned into a sandbag. I've never understood that. That blows me away. I would think by now, by beta 18, we would be, you know, sand would be part of the shores of the rivers or something. We'd be able to actually go out and, and grab sand somehow, or it would be a byproduct of cutting blocks or a byproduct of, of mining. I mean, where am I? Why can't this rubble be somehow turned into sand? There's got to be some way to make sandbags or something other than steel, but that's how it's done. So if we were to... We need some natural defenses. We're going to spend a lot of time down here. So I would say... Um, okay, all this gives us good cover right here. I would say two spots right there. 
Someone can run up here and stand at this point and shoot this way. Uh, coming from around here. Don't want to disturb the gardens, but yeah, if we were to do that, someone could stand here and get a good line of, you know, of sight in there. Although there's nowhere for him to run back to afterward. Um, don't want to do this because we're going to have to walk further around each time just to get through. Where else? I guess a couple of spots there. Kind of build some quick natural barriers if we need a place to kind of tuck in and shoot through and around and against. Already prepared for whenever the first round of attacks start to come in. From there, from there, and there. Okay, so just some random spots. I have no idea if we're going to be able to use any of those until the first attacks start to come in and see where we happen to be standing at the time, or if by then we've got other capabilities to defend ourselves in place. But are we running or not? Let's keep keep the night going. And again, I don't speed it up at night because I've got so many things to plan out and do and talk about and, and explain and figure out myself. i got a lot of head-scratching to do myself. Um, power. We need power to power all this stuff. We've got choices of wind turbines, which needs a clear area as big as those two rectangles there. One would work right here, though I'm kind of thinking our front door is right here. So I don't know that I want to put one there. I was really hoping one would fit in here, and I see it does. You don't want trees to be growing in those squares, so those rectangles. So one way to defeat that is to put in a solar power solar panel in those spaces um these don't rotate do they they do okay they, they never fit the space properly though unfortunately i wish they were the same size same footprint but they're not um yeah if i do it right here i can get another one over here you want a space between your solar panels at all times they do light on fire they get attacked and I put one like right there You'll never be able to walk between to stand there to put out the fire that's happening right there in that spot. So if you're going to do another one, you do it right over there. But I want to put three in there. That should be more than enough power. Um, we still don't have the ability to pause a building project, right? We... What does Forbid do? Colonists... Okay, so if I did that, would they stop constructing it? They might. Interesting. Uh, I'm not going two, but um, uh, Tomislav thinks you should give your faction a name. What should your faction be called? He suggests the Hadshaw at the Mountain. No. We're going to be the Noble Alliance. Now, faction means we can have multiple colonies. Just like these factions over here have colonies all over the planet and several of them are near us so they'll then have individual towns underneath and we're going to have individual towns underneath ours this is the first one since it looks like you'll be here for a while Tomislav also thinks that you, uh, you should give this colony a community a name what should this local community be called and I'm thinking that it should be named in remembrance of the ship that brought us here and then you know had a untimely demise as we entered orbit and these are the only survivors from it klaus being a a uh, crew member and the others being passengers that ship was called freedom's drift so i think we're going to call this colony that freedom's drift and it's something that I can say a hundred times and not not uh, roll my tongue over. Cougar's Hope was our last one. Freedom's Drift. That is the name of our colony. And there we go. Now called Noble Alliance and now called Freedom's Drift. We're drifting along on our way to, to the freedom of doing what we want to do over here. So that was that. What was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted? Uh, power, pausing... I feel like there was one more. We need to set up batteries to store the power that we're going to create here so that we can run it during the night when the solar panels aren't doing anything and the the wind may or may not be doing anything. But we also want to make sure that no trees grow in the rest of the space. So we could go in with something like floors, 
Um, speaking of floors, I need to put floors in here. Um, concrete is the cost of one steel per. So I guess they're calling the con the, the dirt, the, the stone part of it free, and that is the... Um, I lost the name. This steel rod that's in the concrete. What is that called? Rebar. So if we were to do... We're not going to grow anything there. I don't think a tree's going to grow in that spot. So if we were to run through there with it, through there with it, these four, and to there. And just in case, we'll fill in those two. All right, that should be enough to make, well, just for consistency, yeah. Should be enough to make sure that this stays tree-free. Trees grow up in here when you're not watching. The efficiency of the wind turbine slows down to where it's just crawling and you're not getting any power out of it at all. These guys here will eat your plants. If we were to just leave that on there, eventually he's going to stop somewhere and you'll see eating. And it'll be a little bit of a green bar going down as it's munching away on our cotton plant. So we do want to do some hunting soon, but I've got nowhere to store the meat. We want to butcher the meat and and make use of it. So I don't want to uh, to do that just yet. And it's probably time to get these guys off of mining. Um, the, while I'm here, let's set just these three over here. And you guys are done over here? Maybe. I can't see what's behind it yet. But let's look at work. And now that we got the, the colony name, we could see our first attack here pretty soon. Um, work. Let's think about this a little bit. Construction. That's right, if I hit construction, I saw this on Night Ghost's stream the other night. You hit any of these, it will reorder them by the one that's best at that particular job. So the best constructor is handy. Next one is Tomislav, who has been stuck with hauling. Let's give him a a uh, construction order. He can get to work helping uh, helping Handy out. Klaus is also capable of it. He is a 6 out of 20. That's about as low as you want to go. In fact, they're not even recommending the 5 over here. They didn't even automatically drop a 4 in. Or did I do that? Maybe I did that. Um, so, sure, let's do that as well. Klaus has got a lot of 2s. We're going to have to sort through this mess eventually it's not critical right now critical is we've got somebody that constructs somebody that grows somebody that doctors somebody that wardens and somebody that cooks so we'll we'll go through and fine-tune things later it's not uh, not a big issue right here right at this moment but that gets a few people out here doing this let's grab flooring and say that we want to wooden floor could just do something like that we're gonna Actually, it looks like it, it doesn't automatically stick it underneath the walls. Good. So it's not really a waste. So just to make it faster, we'll do that. And there. And even one under that doorway going outside. Okay. So that puts wooden floor underneath. We're going to get all of the walls up. We'll get the the uh, doors in. We'll get the vents in. We'll get the air conditioners in. Then we're going to get power down over here. I'm thinking this looks like a pretty good place for a battery room just because it's already mined out and it's safe. I learned in my last playthrough putting a bunch of batteries inside of a stone building like this and sealing it up works great from protecting it from enemies until one of these batteries blows and lights on fire. We had kind of a Oh, an inferno in in our battery room, room once and there was no way of getting in putting it out because it was so hot in there you went inside you immediately got injured so we're gonna have to uh, rethink that probably a way to to vent from two different directions hold the doors open and let the heat escape while we head in there and try to work on that or even a maybe a double door system to open it up a little bit easier like that kind of like that too I um, also like the idea of orders, power of a, of a power line coming through like that from here and a doorway on top of that. So that'll vent from here and vent from here. That'll cool it down, maybe enough to get in and put out the one battery that's on fire. Um, I usually build batteries in banks and turn switches, put switches on them, and I can charge up a bank and then take it off the grid and then charge up another bank and take it off the grid and kind of alternate back and forth. But we'll get into those details later. Rabbit is is mining. The planting must be done. It must be done. We don't have a place for heel root. Interesting. Heel root. Um, 
Where is that? Is it just... Let me think here. Corpses. We have it's up in this area. Manufactured. Medicines. No. Oh, herbal. There you are. Okay. So herbal is set to go here. It just uh, didn't get prioritized. Out here in the sun, what's it doing? It is starting to degrade. Okay. So, Rabbit, you are relaxing socially and throwing little flirty comments at Handy as she goes by. And, and attempted to woo... Rejected his advance. Trained a Labrador Retriever. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, can I go there? I did. Ham has been trained in obedience. And now we're going to start working on hauling. It is really nice when the animals start to learn hauling. They can start bringing things into your stockpile for you. Uh, we don't have a place to put them. We don't. We could tell them eventually furniture, animal sleep spot just to pop into the hallway out here. That animal. Pause. Out here. Just looking at the pathway here. Let's put them there. Let's put several animal sleep spots in this run right here. They have access, equal access to get out both. Out both ways. Um, by this time tomorrow, we'll probably be living in here. And... It looks like this episode is starting to go long, isn't it? Let's deal with the mad animal and then call this one done. Jump to location. Right there, it is a mad rat. So, I didn't get to read that, did I? Once you click on that, it is gone. They have a funny little uh, explanation as to what's with this rat. But this rat has gone all manhunter on us. and He is rabbiting him. I'm guessing he's going to take out Tomislav. Yeah, immediately attacking Tomislav. Tomislav is armed? He is. Now... Normally, he would be running like crazy here in a moment as soon as he gets within a certain range because he's set to flee. I'm going to preemptively draft him, and he's already aiming. Now, this right here is a, well, I want to say a cooldown period. That's not the right word. Cooldown is afterward. Uh, no, I want the gun. Let's see, how do I do that? Um, gear. I don't think I can do it from here, but I can do it from over here. Hit this eye. So it has a warm-up period of 1.1 seconds, so you cannot fire until 1.1 seconds from now. Then it will fire. How far that rat's going to move down, I don't know. I'm guessing he's only going to get one shot. Um, although this gun, this is the charge rifle, it gives you three bursts. So boom, 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 come out of it. And then your cooldown period, where are you at? I'm not seeing it. Have they changed that rate? Fire. Warm up. And oh, there it is. Ranged cooldown. So it's another 1.16 seconds before he can fire again. And what we learned the hard way last series, he can't leave that spot either for 1.16 seconds. So hanging around to take that last quick shot, you're still stuck for that cooldown period before you can then turn around and retreat. So you've got to really decide whether you're going to take that shot or if that cooldown period afterward is what's going to end that character's life because someone else will have finally got into a position to aim at them. So do we take this shot or do we do we get out of here and take that shot from over here instead? That's really what's, what's being thought about right now. Now his run speed is 3.6. Tomislav's run speed is 3.6. So he's going to run the same speed as the, as the rat. So let's give this a try. He's already going to take a shot at it. He missed. 1.6 seconds. He's going to get another shot right here. Another 1.6 seconds. He's going to take a bite from it before he gets out of there. Let's send him out to here. Uh, that didn't work because I'm... I've clicked on a wooden dining chair. All right, try that again. You head out this way. Let's get somebody else in there. Rabbit, you're a great shot. You run this way as well. Um, that doesn't work until you're drafted. So you head out over here as well. And let's get out of there. In fact, it looks like he's not going to have time to stop and aim and fire. So Tomislav, you're just going to run past while Rabbit goes after it. Can you fire at? Yeah. Got one shot at him. Okay, now he's going to get to him beforehand. <laughs> um, let's give him one more round here. 
Oh, didn't do it. Rabbit, you need to get out of there before Tomasov shoots you in the back trying to shoot the... Shoot the rat. Go, go, go. Don't think he made contact. Got him. All right. Tomasov took him down. Just had, just had to take a while to get used to that new weapon. That's what it is. Now, what are you? You're fine. I'm seeing this little thing over his head. They have kind of a, a little cloud over their head when they're, uh, when they're man hunting. And I thought maybe he had caught the bug somehow. Anyway, you guys are now... You un both undrafted? You still got your weapon out. Where is fire at will, melee... I see. You're both drafted still. That's what I want. Red X. Okay. We're done. You're dead. And that that uh, horrible disaster is over. <laughs> so next time we need to come up with a place to store that rat and all other animals we're going to hunt. A place to, that we can keep it cool. These coolers will cool the rooms, but they're also going to cool a freezer. So we need to get a freezer built. Probably a temporary one until we get into our real kitchen. And as well as a butcher's table, a kitchen stove. We can we can cook with electricity, we can cook with wood. So I like to do one of each, but don't necessarily have to do that right at the beginning. We're gonna have more power than we're gonna know what to do with at first. So that's probably, probably go with electricity. Um, is there anything else that I need to get into before I call this one done? The, the viewer who's going to be the future radar had uh, mentioned that we can also uh, th that there is something called a crafting spot production crafting spot you place for crafting simple things like shivs and bows and um, that is going to be one an, another use for our stone to put in to create stone shivs and things we could have sold to Bringa so that's something to keep in mind um, what else do I have in my notes here? Get that one done, that one done. Those are done, that's done. Um, I think that's it for this one. Yep, I think it's enough for this one, let's put it that way. I've gone longer than I had planned to. So, I want to keep these at about 40 minutes, but it is so hard to turn this game off. I can't get enough done in 40 minutes to feel like I've actually accomplished anything. And you guys are all waiting for me to get something done here and i am too anyway this has been noble rambler thanks you guys for watching and i'll catch you next time Bye bye